this right here starts the journey. I am officially starting my journey in egg donation. We'll talk more about that later. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday. I'm Soraya. I'm an Atlanta realtor and a recent Howard graduate. And this channel is where I just vlog my daily life and give you guys the real nitty gritty of being a realtor, being a young person. <laughs> just my life. And so today is Sunday. It's a chill Sunday. It is currently 12.03, March 12th. And it is gloomy outside and it rained it was raining this morning when i woke up so i woke up feeling like it needed to be a chill sunday yesterday was a long day for me i spent time with family and i didn't vlog it because it was just it was time with family but it would have been a good vlog we went to the georgia aquarium then we went out to eat and now i am exhausted going to the aquarium on a saturday is an awful idea don't ever do it <laughs> it was so many people there and because it was kind of like a nice day i think just a lot of people were out with their family and stuff so you guys saw me make myself some breakfast chill and eat and do the dishes and just chill I know now that I have a showing today at 1.30. My life is feeling kind of repetitive. I feel like every day I vlog, I have a showing. Today I was supposed to have my first buyer's consultation with a potential client, but she canceled. So that was really what was supposed to be my plan for today. And that's why I don't have an open house. I definitely couldn't have one yesterday and I don't have one today because I just wasn't sure how the consultation was going to go, but she canceled last minute. So I'm just taking it as a sign that I needed to have this day off, this day to rest. But then I pick up a showing. And the thing is, showings aren't a big deal, but since I'm leaving the house when I didn't think I was going to, I'm going to take advantage of being at the house, run some errands, and then I also started this new training that's connected to something I'll be able to announce soon. In that training, they have us doing what they call agent previews where we just go look at homes and act like we're on a showing with the client and really pay attention to the details of the home and stuff and then provide feedback to the agent afterwards and so I would have had these scheduled in advance if I knew that I was going to be doing them today if I knew that I was going to be leaving the house today to do those since I picked up the showing last minute this morning I'm going to try to schedule them so that I can have so I can take advantage of the time that I'm out the house so that is my day for today I might combine today with tomorrow because I don't know how much I will vlog even though I am vlogging right now I don't know how much I will vlog because showings agent previews they're one and the same and they're very repetitive <laughs> it just I don't know if you guys would really be interested in seeing that so right now I'm about to schedule these previews okay hi you guys so I am now in the car it is currently 1 50 and for some reason plans in my life change so quickly like as soon as I speak on a plan it changes and so I don't know if I'm gonna make that my lesson of the day but if I don't have any other lessons for today this is a lesson to not speak on stuff too soon I mean even though it was just a showing it got canceled and it's just unfortunate because before I knew it was canceled I had booked agent previews for today and so if I would have not done that <laughs> I wouldn't be leaving the house right now because my errands that I was going to run from just because I was going to be at the house, like, they weren't urgent, so I didn't really need to do them today. But here we are. I booked the agent previews like five minutes before I found out the showing was going to be canceled. And so now I'm forced to leave the house and it's just... I guess the lesson of the day could be listen to my gut, stick to what I know that I want. And that was to stay in the house today. I just look a mess. I'm just not feeling it today. I'm not feeling the best. But here we are. So I'm currently on the way to my agent previews. I have five of them today. They don't take long at all. Like I'm not going to be out all day. So this is just a brief intermission until my, until my chill Sunday. 
I will definitely catch up with you guys when I make it to my first property. Okay, you guys, so I made it to the first property. This is it. So what I do when I arrive is, well, what I do before I arrive is I take a screenshot of the MLS listing and highlight important factors such as the price, the size, the number of bedrooms, and like key things that are written in the public remarks of the listing. And so I make sure to open it and review that before I go in the property because I will be seeing five today and it's helpful to know what I'm walking into. And what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to walk through the property as if I am on a showing and speak about it out loud as if I'm on a showing, but that just makes me feel uncomfortable and so I don't really do that don't tell anybody though I'm also supposed to leave one of my business cards on the counter I just so happen to have some with me in my car so I will be doing that as well it took me a while to start doing that I've been doing these since Tuesday and it is currently Sunday and for a few days I was feeling uncomfortable about it because I'm supposed to be getting new business cards and I didn't really want to use these because it doesn't have all of my new accurate information but putting something is better than putting nothing okay guys so it is currently 2 16 and i just finished in the property and so now what i'm about to do is write some notes about it because at the end of the night i will be sending feedback to the agents of all these homes that i'm previewing because i will be seeing so many it will be easy to get confused and forget to forget the points that I want to make in the feedback email and so I'm about to which is why I love my iPad because you can write on it and you don't have to have a whole bunch of papers and all this stuff so what I'm about to do is write some notes the home was beautiful honestly and the feedback is supposed to have a section of things that could be improved or done oh let me also mention sorry I was mid thought but I went inside when I walked inside it wasn't raining and now why is it raining why is it raining <laughs> why is it raining i literally hate georgia sometimes because the weather is so bipolar oh my gosh i just lost my pencil <laughs> goodness gracious let me get up out of here okay so the notes i'm gonna be making is that the home is beautiful great space great open floor plan a great neighborhood and it's supposed to have a section where the feedback is a little more constructive and i feel like i don't really have much constructive criticism to offer here goes nothing so the one note i'm going to provide is that the one room that is lived in because this is owner occupied the one room that has furniture that the occupant is actually living in they could do it better with cleaning it up and making it look presentable for people who come view the house because the bed wasn't made which it might be a situation that I booked too late and they had already left the house and didn't really plan on people coming in but I would say that they should always be prepared <laughs> for what may come and so that would be my one note that the agent can say to their client and so now i'm gonna just do this four more times <laughs> the actually the next house that i'm going to is right there and because the goal is to do homes that are close by each other so it's easier to compare there just so happens to be two homes for sale in this little neighborhood that is where i'm going next i'm super upset that it is raining because i thought it was going to be done it wasn't raining when i left the house and now it's raining and so i'm upset but the show must go on the work must continue and so i will talk to you guys a little bit later okay hey guys so i know i said that i wasn't going to show you guys anymore i wasn't going to show you any agent previews or talk to you guys about it much more because it's repetitive but i just want to show you this house i'm really excited about it the house is completely black <laughs> which i love so i will tell you guys what I think of it when I go view it. Um, follow up. The pictures overhyped it. It was nice. Don't get me wrong. It was a beautiful home, but yeah, pretty overhyped in my opinion. Ugh. 
Okay, guys, yeah, so it is currently 3.30 and I have finished my agent previews right on time, right at the time that I thought I would. I am currently at my favorite. I love Target. It's just good vibes. So I have some things to get. I've never vlogged in public like this, like in a store. So I'm nervous. Also, Target is probably really busy because it is Sunday. I'm really stalling because I don't feel like getting out of the car. It's so warm in here and it is 48 degrees outside. And I feel like just the other day, it was like 80. I freaking hate Georgia because it's just so bipolar and you can't ever have a good moment. It might be TMI, but I'm on my period. And just the emotions are everywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's let's go. Because what are you still sitting here for? video with a vlog for tomorrow so yeah y'all might see me tomorrow but for now I'm gonna give y'all a little target haul I know y'all kind of saw me putting stuff in my cart but I am going to haul it for you guys I didn't even get that much stuff but I love store hauls so I got this moisturizing cream target brand because CeraVe brand is too expensive <laughs> Then I got this native body wash and I didn't go for the hype for a long time but it gives and I actually like the cashmere and rain scent and the last two times I've gone they haven't had it so I keep getting the lilac and white teeth. I got some toothpaste because I took my mom's and I need my own. These right here, this might be TMI but it is that time of the month and chocolate is my favorite but since i'm dairy free ish <laughs> i don't eat chocolate when it says time of the month and but i still crave sweet stuff so these ones from target are really good sour strips in general are becoming my favorite when i can't get to target i'll get the other version the ones i'll pop them on the screen but y'all probably know what i'm talking about and then i got as y'all saw me in the book section I got two books because I'm just really craving new books right now even though I'm still now I have five in my library that I haven't read but this one has been on my book list for a long time and I forgot what it was about but I'm gonna read the back for y'all 10 a.m. the principal of Opportunity High School finishes her speech welcoming the entire student body to a new semester and encouraging them to excel and achieve 10.02 a.m. The students get up to leave the auditorium for their next class. 10.03 a.m. The auditorium doors won't open. 10.05 a.m. Someone starts shooting. That is all that's on the back of the book. Like, of course I want to read this book. And I hope it's as good as 
it's making me feel like it's going to be and then the last time I went to Target I saw this book and I'm intrigued I really want to read it I would consider this like a self-help book and I'm trying to build up my self-help book collection and I'm excited to read it because love languages are so important there were way more books that I got but I did why would why why would I go to Target and spend a hundred dollars randomly like Target always takes my money like all of it and I hate that hi everyone it's the next day it is Monday it is currently like 3 15 and I haven't talked to you guys all day I would say I forgot but that would be a lie I've been on go since 11 o'clock I had supposedly was supposed to have a showing at 11 o'clock but they didn't show and then I had my agent previews which I told you guys about yesterday I do them every day and then I had a meeting with my team lead and now I'm finally leaving to go do a preview another preview so I wanted to take you guys along with me on this preview because I will be doing this preview to get content from my Instagram. I don't like to be this last minute because I'm technically supposed to post the video tomorrow on Tuesday and I had a property that I was going to use but I didn't get enough content of it so I have to do another one. But I'm going to take you guys with me so you guys can see what I do if I can try to set up the camera in some way. So sorry I haven't talked to you guys all day but it has been kind of a busy day. I also know that I mentioned I showed you guys a little pill that I was taking and so I said I was going to talk about it in this video and I definitely will. I will do it later on so stay tuned for that. And yeah let's go see this very nice property that I will be posting on my Instagram tomorrow. Okay you guys, so this is the home that I will be getting content for and I'm going to try to set this up so you guys can see what I do. So you can see what I do. First I'm going to get a picture of the outside so I don't forget to do it. So this will be, that will be the title screen and now we go inside. So what I do is I come in and I walk through it just so I can see what I can potentially record. I like to choose homes that are staged because it allows for better content. Okay, that's nice. And I'll come through and turn on all the lights. I did the same light situation for open houses as well because nobody wants to come into a home that's dark. This home is really nice. I love these new modern style homes because so they look quite similar. They all look really good. Okay, so all the lights are turned on and now we begin. That is me getting content of a home. Super simple, super quick, super easy. All you do is book the preview and shoot your content. I've only had one experience where an agent wanted to speak with me about it and make sure I posted her social media on my video and stuff, but that was one situation. And of course I'm open to doing that. It doesn't hurt to try to tag somebody in a video, especially the listing agent. And yeah, that is me in this beautiful home. I don't even know if I showed you guys the home. Now I had to find a way to make sure those boxes weren't in the video, but it wasn't that hard. My job here is done. I will see you guys in a second. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday. We're gonna act like it's Monday night, <laughs> but it is Tuesday. It is 9.20 in the morning, and I know yesterday I showed you guys this little pill that I followed up with saying that this is starting the journey of something exciting. I am officially starting my journey in egg donation. 
and I wanted to follow up with that comment and give you guys a little more information. This is going to be the end of my chill days video but I still wanted to include this egg donation part because it is a big part of my life and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to navigate giving you guys content about that but in this video I definitely want to introduce it because the medication has officially started so if you don't know anything about egg donation essentially people with ovaries I'm not even going to say just women because I feel like it can be an inclusive thing so people with ovaries can decide to donate their eggs to people who can get pregnant and or I guess it's technically people who struggle with infertility struggle with getting pregnant on their own people with ovaries are able to donate their eggs to people who need a little assistance and so I saw somebody on TikTok just sharing their journey in egg donation and I started to research from there and I realized it's something that I could do as well I'm the right age my BMI is good for it my medical history is pretty good and so I started looking into it in July of 2022 last July last July it's been a long journey but it's only taken me that long because I decided that I was gonna indulge in some weed in Colorado in July and they were like mm, maybe check back in a few months <laughs> when you don't have drugs in your system okay I don't I got a call so I don't know what I was saying but essentially all of this to say I started my egg donation process to help people who struggle with infertility have some eggs to use to produce children to start their families and so it has been a journey but I am still super excited I've been super patient and I'm still super excited and I have been wanting to share my journey with you guys I do think I want to do a full sit down video but I just wanted to introduce that this is something that is starting in my life and I'm going to take you guys along with me that pill was birth control because I am not current well I'm on birth control now because I'm starting the medication but before doing this egg donation process I was not on birth control because um, I stopped it because I don't want to be on a pill every day for the rest of my life it actually ends next week and that's when we start getting into it. I am super excited if you guys can't tell. I also just have a lot of energy this morning. I don't know what I have going on, but we're not complaining, right? Because we love energy. That is me explaining that pill. And that is also the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and spending a few chill days with me. It is the reality of my life. Not every day is super exciting. Not every day that I, not every day I want to get out the house and do stuff but sometimes you just gotta persevere and do what you have to do and that's what this video was i'm super excited to take you guys on this journey of egg donation with me if you have any questions about anything at all you can always leave a comment or you can text me call me dm me you guys know the drill by now and if this is your first video maybe you don't but that is the drill my contact information is everywhere and you can always reach out to me with anything you may need, whether you're a realtor, whether you're a buyer, whether you're a seller, whether you're trying to get into real estate, anything like that, I am available. I'm here as a resource to you. And I will see you guys next time, next week, next Wednesday at 12 p.m. with a new video. Have a great week, everybody.